The news of a coup underway in Thailand reached Carstairs at seven o'clock Thursday evening, and he realized that still another evening would be devoted to affairs in Bangkok. The coup had begun an hour earlier with the capture of Radio Thailand, and it was rumored that First Army headquarters in the heart of the city had been surrounded and captured. Eleven people were reported dead and thirty-six wounded. According to the meager news given to the U.S. Embassy and the wire services, the coup attempt involved rebel forces in the Thai army, but led by whom was unknown. The coup had begun at six o'clock on Friday morning. In Langley, Virginia, it was still Thursday. Really spooky these time differences. Bishop ventured as he returned to his desk to analyze the information reaching them. Positively mystical, realizing that right now, at this very moment, he glanced at his watch. At this very moment, it's seven twenty Friday morning over there, and people already know what Friday's like, and have also, he added pointedly, had a charming sleep tonight, which you and I may be denied. And they're actually experiencing a day we've not reached yet. You're being whimsical," growled Carstairs. "No, I suspect rather metaphysical," Bishop said, considering this. "Fraught with time and space speculations, surely. Do you think, by the way, that Morna Jay's mysterious flight to Bangkok had anything to do with this coup?" Carstairs said with a wry smile, "The department provides no crystal balls, unfortunately. Of course, anything's possible. But if news of a pending coup drew him there, then everyone upstairs would know where he was, and above all, his assistant. No, my best instincts tell me that something else is afoot.